today we're comparing two townhouses right here in New York City. They're both down the street from each other. They're both very nice and they're both way above my budget, unfortunately. Sammy, can I have a discount on one of these? One penny off the purchase price. One penny off the purchase price. How much is the rent? $6,000. There are two units here. One is a duplex with a private rooftop. The second one is a triplex with a private backyard. We'll find out which one's the best. We've got this deck off the kitchen and we also have this up here. And then on top of that, that whole floor is the rooftop. That's the backyard for the lower level place. What a nice place for a little table, little chairs. But if you drop your food, it's gonna fall down here and the neighbors are gonna eat it. It's great news if you're a messy eater. The view here is fantastic. We're not facing like a big city or anything, but look at all these buildings and stuff over here, all these trees, all this green. I think the neighbors have some sort of above ground pool. That's what that looks like. All of this is brand new, right? Everything we're looking at? Brand new, no one has lived here yet. You'll be the first. Big kitchen. Looks like we still got the tape on the side of the stove here. It's gone now. Look at this, five burners. Fancy. Is that the vent? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Look at that thing. Solid water pressure. And there's plenty of counter space everywhere. Appliance, appliance. You can set food out here. This also doubles as a breakfast counter. Do you know what kind of material this is? This is expensive stone. Not sold at Home Depot. The fridge has the double doors and the double freezer. Look at that. Lots of cabinets. And then we got this built-in pantry, which I wish was in every single apartment. And look, even this dishwasher, full size, everything's lined up and it's super bright in here because we've got these floor to ceiling windows. So far, no complaints. What's in there? Should I show you? Yeah. This is just a half time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why are these called powder rooms? I've never used powder in one of these. Good pressure, lots of storage. Seven by 15 and a half. This is huge. Do you know the square footage of the whole thing? Around 2,000 square feet. Check out the details on oh, this so mantle. Cool. Look at that, gorgeous. I'm so glad they kept that because now you can put a TV up there and watch Star Wars. Check out the street view, very quiet, very peaceful. These windows actually face south. Exactly, and that's why it's so bright in here. We don't even need the lights on. Can we turn them? We can't turn them on. No, that's not. After you buy it. Big couch over here, coffee table, and then here you can have a big dining table. And this space is basically made to entertain. We've got the breakfast bar, we've got the outside by the kitchen, we've got this. There's gonna be a lot of people hanging out here, but only if you invite them. Look at that, Empire State Building view right there. Is this as long as the downstairs living room? I can't hear you, it's so far away. <laughs> and look at how high up we are. This is what, four stories right now? Four stories, right now we're on the rooftop. This is an amazing amount of outdoor space. You could do so much with this. And believe it or not, this hatch right here, this is the, um, this is lets you back into the building. Check this out, that's your fire escape from inside. The only problem is noise from things like helicopters. Oh, that's so loud. I guess if the government's looking for you, you should probably live somewhere else. Or get something with like an, an umbrella, like an umbrella table. I could totally see like some picnic tables over here and then on the green section. Green section, we can get a full on football game or even mini golf. For six grand, this might be the biggest roof deck on the market. Now, where things get really interesting is the staircase. It's, uh, it's a little steep. If you're afraid of heights, just use the handrail and you won't go through the window over here. And it's so relaxed up here. Just listen to the leaves, the sound. Super, super relaxed. It's unlike so many apartments where all you hear is honking and like noise. Seriously, there's nothing going on except trees in a backyard. Where are you going? Right here. Oh! Is it a walk-in closet if you can walk through the entire thing? I think so. That counts as a walk-in closet. The lighting in here is really cool. Is this the primary bedroom? This is the master bedroom. We have the northern exposure. Oh, that is like the nicest sliding door ever. You don't even hear this. 
and it looks nice. Shower wand, looks like the phone from some mob boss. Big shower head. Fairly large shower as well. Could have been a bathtub, but I'm glad it's not. But then we got the two sinks. One big mirror. And look at all the storage is like separate. Nobody has to fight because it's all shareable. We got full. Oh, oh nice. Geez. It's like right here in the hallway. Perfect. Now at the other end of this second level, we've got two bedrooms and they're about the same size. They'll each fit a king size bed. They're about 14 feet long. They've got pretty similar closet space and they both face the street, which is south. These are pretty much identical. Like there's no, there's no difference. Big rooms, big queen size beds here. And the apartment's third bathroom is up here as well. This is seriously nice. It looks different than the bedroom in the primary, but we've also got the two sinks, which is nice. This looks like the exact same cabinet, just a different color. I remember this drawer. And we've got a really cool looking tub here with it. This actually looks like the windows that are on the uh, exterior of this place. Right, it looks like a window to the outside. Tile looks sick too. If you're having deja vu right now, that's on purpose. The same property owner renovated this space and the one upstairs. The differences are that this one has a backyard and this has a huge finished cellar. Before we go down there, is this bathroom different? No, wow, this is like identical, which we already said. Same oven, same dishwasher, same giant fridge with two freezers. Two differences in the living room. We've got one massive window instead of two. I wouldn't complain about either one of these though, to be honest with you. Also, they deleted the fireplace. master bedroom. You also have this door. If you're coming home late at night, just want to go right into bed. Oh, that is so cool. A private under the stairs secret entrance. Look at this massive window. I love the fence around it. It's made out of spears from the Middle Ages. Plus there's a light so you don't get lost. On the other side of this door, we've got the other door that just lets us right in. This could be bike storage, boot storage, shovel storage. Stroller storage. More closet space. Can we sneak through it? Can we sneak through it? Yes! I know we're on the first floor, but I like this room a lot. How much is the rent on this place? Is it different than upstairs or is it the same? This is the same, $6,000 a month. Oh man, nice bathroom here. I like this better than the one upstairs. It feels bigger. The sinks are the same, but it feels like the shower itself might be a little bit bigger. And we got that same awesome sliding door. So it's like you either get the upstairs with the roof deck, or you get the downstairs, this cool room, and the massive backyard. Yep. Both and the same and price. The cellar as well. Whoa, it keeps going down? Check out the cellar. Wow. And it's huge. It's great. This is like another apartment. Where does that window go? Do we even want to know? Oh, man. Okay. This is my secret hiding spot. What do you keep back there? Come on, you know I can't tell you that. Hey, so we got laundry machines down here. I'm guessing this is like an equipment room. What's over there? There's an emergency escape hatch. Oh, you weren't lying, there is an escape room. And gas meters. This looks like it could be explosive. Be a nice rec room, maybe put a pool table over here, bring over the friends. Interesting that there's power down there and nowhere else. Like I want to check out this bathroom up here with some power because it looks just as nice as the one that I saw upstairs. Actually, we just checked it out. Now down here, we've got two bedrooms and both of these have a view of the backyard. This one's got the door. And this one doesn't. This one's probably better just because this window's bigger and it's a little bit brighter because it's got less of the deck overhanging it. But these will both fit queen beds, good closet space. Private backyard. Woo! You could have built another building back here. Definitely room for another house. I think a garden and like some serious landscaping are in order. If you're me, you're gonna get sunburned in about 10 seconds. So some natural shade would be great. 
And if you live here long enough, that tree will grow and its branches will just do all the work for you. Now these stairs, these lead back into our kitchen, which is right through that door. And if you're gonna have food and stuff, that can be down here on this like concrete. And then I guess you could have an above ground pool. Now we still have one more building to go to, but after you consider just how big this is, clearly you can do more here than you can with these other three decks, but not everybody's got the wherewithal to take care of this much outdoor space. The other interesting thing is that this is bigger than the upstairs deck. We've got space here that they don't have. What's up? What's going on? Welcome back. See how gorgeous the block is? I like how this one kind of has like a setback to it. It's not like right on the street. It feels like... Yeah, you know, there used to be some really high up people that used to live in these buildings. It comes with this garden too, huh? Can you ask for anything more? Maybe. What's it cost? Not bad. Only $7,700. The top two floors and a backyard. This is pretty nice. It adds a lot of privacy. Like you could go in it like Sammy's doing. And, and check this out. You got fresh oregano. Oh, it's... You got lavender over here. Anything really? you need, just come out here, pick it. Is it an apple tree? Yeah, we got fresh apples. I don't know if that's an apple, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, this is awesome. And we have a squatter here. Oh, we do? For this bird nest. We got oh. lots of birds hanging out over here. Once someone fills it with seed. This is shared with the downstairs tenant. Look at all these trees. It's very shady, which I really like. And if you look up, you can also see those top two levels. That's like a really, really private little environment up there. I just worry that since the gardening and landscaping is so nice, where are you going to put furniture? Maybe like over in this area? Are they going to put more tiles? No, they leave this for gardening. We have upstairs for the furniture anyways. That's a good point. Here I am forgetting that we have a massive deck a bigger deck than the other apartments. Enormous. And I like how that door just slides open. It's gonna be easy to have a table. Then you can get some additional seating, probably some lounge chairs, a little umbrella tent. Got your flower boxes. Definitely a gardener's paradise. I think this oven is better than the Italian oven. At least that's what the Vikings would tell you. Six burners instead of five. So far, the extra $1,700 a month gets you an extra burner. Nice big sink. Love these little lights. This whole kitchen's just an absolute home run. Plus, we could have stools over there and maybe like shelving right behind where you're standing. The ceilings here are gorgeous as well. I mean, look at that light. Half bath. Ooh. It's like a little warehouse. Look at this little under the steps bathroom. Cute little light, little uh, airplane sink. Love that. Got some storage down here. Big mirrors. This is awesome. Look at all the space we have here to work with. These windows face south and the back windows face north. And even though it's also a 30 foot living room, it just feels bigger. I think it's because it's a little bit wider and also the power's on, so that might have something to do with it. At least the more expensive place is the more impressive place. This is the perfect bedroom. Perfect, you have two closets. We'll show you the bathroom with the skylight. It's like heaven. This is nice, we got the dressers, shelving all over the place. But man, every inch of this bathroom is just super impressive. Love the skylight. Also, we got that triangular tile. The herringbone tiles. Oh, okay. I knew it had like a fancy name or something. It's on the wall too. Little yeah. golden door. I feel spoiled just stepping in here. It's like so bright. Lovely. It, it is. is. No other way to say it. Solid water, mirrors. Look, even the little outlet cover has a mirror. The other apartment didn't have that. Nope. Man, you can do so much with this. Two or three king size beds, I guess. Cable hookup. I like that it comes with curtains. You're definitely gonna need them, unless you wanna keep an eye on what's happening in your front yard garden. That's what that is. Another little linen closet out here. Ooh, hallway laundry. Nice. Once you start spending $7,000 a month, or 6,000, you can finally get like actual laundry. Now, just like in the other apartments, we've got the two smaller rooms at the opposite end of the apartment. And these are both really nice rooms, queen size beds easily. Now up here, we got ourselves the backyard view. Oh wow. Full size closet. 
closet. Yeah, that's big. Got the shelves in there too. You don't usually see that, I guess. You know what else you don't usually see? The little side rack here. That's awesome. These rooms feel more like the rooms in a luxury apartment. And that's because we have sliding windows here. You could almost climb out here completely if that's what you want to do. See your neighbors over there? They don't have laundry inside their apartment. They have laundry outside of their apartment. It's actually a smart idea in New York if you have a fire escape. And we have the second full bath up here on this second level. Tub is nice and deep. Ooh, look at that. Super bright vanity lights up in here. Shout out to Sammy for letting us tour these. His info is right here. Let him know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next one.